Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2023 Tableau DVR. Now this is a big change from older versions. A couple big noticeable changes include the fact that there's no monthly fee with it and it has a completely new user interface, completely changed design for the Tableau DVR. We're going to be talking about this, a few things that are missing, a few things that you're going to really like about this and more here in a minute as we do a full review. First though, a few disclaimers. This was a review unit, but they don't get to see this review until it goes live on YouTube. They're watching it just like you are. Second, pricing on this changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to it in the show notes and in the first pinned comment, you can find pricing there if you're looking for current pricing. Lastly, before we get into the full review, hey, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families, and hopefully helping you break free from the high cost of cable TV. So that's it, let's dive in here. But first, let's take a look at the actual device. Um, as you can see here, it comes in a white round shape, which is very different from the older Tableau DVRs. Does include an ethernet cable, power cable, quick start guide, and what you need to mount it to the wall if you'd like to mount it up against a wall. Now this will connect through Wi-Fi or ethernet. It's very simple, easy to use. I was very pleased with the overall quality of the Tableau DVR. Um, setup was super simple. You download the new Tableau DVR app. There are two now. There's a legacy one that works for the older DVRs, and then there's just a Tableau DVR that works uh, app that works for current ones. They have apps on Android, iOS, and more. They also have ones on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and more, making it very easy to use. Use your phone to set it up though. So with that said, very nice. The design was easy to use, setup was very easy to do. If you're ever done a Tableau DVR, it's very similar, very quick, very easy to do. With that said, let's take a look at the actual app. Now this is running on a Roku. This is what it will look like if you borrowed it up on your TV. And this is the new home screen here. You see here showing me what's airing on some different channels right now I got going. I got Ion and Bounce and a few others, upcoming sporting events, upcoming TV shows and more, movies, all kinds of stuff it's recommending. Uh, but let's keep going down here. You're going to notice, hey, this is Bloomberg TV, Bloomberg Originals, uh, Judge Nosy, and more, these are streaming services it's pulling for. Much like Roku does on their home screen for their antenna, this is now integrating streaming services from places like Bloomberg, um, Nosy, and so many others alongside your antenna here with it. So you have um, all those recommended content, but you do have a, still a standard guide here. You go into Live Tap and you just have your traditional guide. Now in the past you had to pay for 14 days of guide, otherwise you only get 24 hours of guide data. Now that's included. Now you see I've gone past my channels. One quick note, I'm testing this in my basement. My antenna is just a standard antenna in the basement. I get a lot more uh, channels with this when it's upstairs, but this is a pretty good number of channels, but you see my regular channels are at the top from my antenna, and then it goes into streaming channels here with that. And I can do things like, oh, I want to record I Dream a Genie. So let's say I want to record that. Uh, this uh, right here, this episode only. And I can go in here and do recording options to say, uh, use default, start early, start late, and more with this series information. Don't record this one here. You can set recurring and all kinds of things from those settings with it. It also allows you to search by shows. If you don't want to just jump around the guide, you want to see everything in the shows. And you see here. All bunch of shows happening now and coming up here. I can search by genres. I can just see everything on a particular channel. I can look by movies, see all kinds of upcoming movies. Maybe there's some I want to record here coming up with this. Let's see here. Let's just check out the action section here. Look at all these action movies that my antenna will give me with this through the Tableau DVR. Very nice. Set these all up to record. And of course, sporting events. So um, let's look at all sports. You can see I can search by NCAA football. I'm a big football fan. I love that. You see poker, NFL. Let's check this out. So upcoming NFL games over the next two weeks. You can see right here. I can scroll through these games, set these up to record and more with it. Of course, I only got my Fox in this. I don't have my CBS, so you're only seeing four games with that. Very easy to set up, very easy to use. I think you will really quickly discover that this is um, a very nice uh, interface here, very responsive you see, even though this is going over my Wi-Fi, very quick here. I love it. I can click on it. I can see some basic game data. I can record this. And unlike a lot of streaming ones, um, 
I can go in here and change this to start early or record late, which is really nice because it allows me the ability to make sure I don't miss the ending of a game if it goes into overtime, for example. So overall, very easy to use, very nice interface. I really do like the new app. The new app is very nice, it's very smooth, very easy to use, setup was super easy. The DVR is good. Now you're probably gonna to wanna to get an external hard drive. You just plug it into the USB port on the back of your Tableau DVR, and then you can record hundreds of hours of content with it. It's nice that they include some standard included DVR space, but one thing I love about this is the ability to record massive amounts of content, just build my own streaming service with tons of classic TV shows, movies, and sporting events, so with that. So it looks like I may have just lost it. I've been having some intermittent internet issues, but that's perfect. The review is done, so apologize. My, wa my Wi-Fi network, I think I need to replace it. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment, let me know. Hopefully this helps you decide if the Tableau DVR is right for you. Until next time, take care, be safe. And remember, you can find this on the show notes in the first pinned comment down below to link it to online. Take care, everybody.